Old Main is, uh, to me, the heart of the campus, even to this day. Everything on that's all over campus at one time was housed in Old Main. Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Michael, Dean of the School of Education at SUNY New Paltz. The Old Main Building has been my academic home for well over 33 years. It is my honor to take you on this tour of this special and historic building prior to its renovation. Old Main is our college's oldest building. Completed in 1908 and dedicated in January 1909, the Old Main Building served as the focal point of the campus for over 45 years. Today, it is home to the School of Education. But at one time, it housed all college offices and classes, as well as the gymnasium and library. In the memories of some of our alumni, Old Main will always be regarded as the core of the college. Old Main was the heartbeat of my stay here. It was the center, the focus, the representation of all the traditions that we had on campus. To me, Old Main is the most important and the most significant structure on the entire New Paltz campus. If you look at the history of the college, this was the academic heart of our college. And the quad that surrounds it at one point was the entire college. When I came here in 1963, Old Main was a, about the only building standing. We had an old uh, Quonset hut, we had a library, an SUB, and Old Main. At that time, it was the foundation building of the entire college, and now the university. Uh, you came out of the main building, and you, walk, and you walked across, and there was a student union, and there was a library off to your left. In 1974, the Haggerty Administration Building uh, was completed and was opened, and uh, the administration located there, and the School of Education, what became the School of Education, went to the old main building. Located on the ground floor, the dean's office was originally used as the president of the college's office. Displayed in the form of president's office, a beautiful pieces of stained glass, each a gift from a different class starting with the class of 1909 and ending with the class of 1920. The stained glass windows were used uh, to, at first, uh, collect money. And you, if you will note, from the, when you look at the stained glass windows, is that they have years on them. And some of those years are dedicated to those years of the students who came from out of those classes and would uh, donate enough money to put a window together. Not to be outdone, the classes of 1921 and 1922 each gave the college a complete window of stained glass. They are displayed on the second and third floors of the old main building and continue to be admired by generations of students and faculty. Adjoining the dean's office is a large conference room that was used by the president. A unique feature of the conference room is a large map of the world on the south wall of the room. As students, we were not into the president's office that often. I do remember it, however, as I was a part of student council, and therefore we did have some meetings once in a while in the president's conference room. And there was this enormous map 
on the wall of the president's conference room. And the interesting part about it is the world has changed so dramatically from the time that I was a student and that map was on the wall. I'm not, I imagine it's, it's kind of a neat map now because it is the world as it was when I was a student at New Pulse. The second floor of Old Main is where the offices of elementary and secondary education are located. This floor originally housed the financial aid, housing, and graduate office, as well as being the home to the only science lab on campus. When I think of an entire science building, or two or three on campus now, then there was literally just about one room that was the main science lab, and that was on the second floor. And we had chemistry and physics and biology and so on in that particular room. Old Main also housed the campus gymnasium. Back in those early years, they had a running track. Uh, you may have heard of the running track. And back in those days, people were still running on it. And you'd hear this tremendous rumble coming uh, from that area when, when the students were in there having uh, field activities on the running track. We had our intramural basketball games in Old Main. And we would sit up in the track upstairs. And that's where we would cheer our favorite teams on. And most of the games were pretty much a fraternity against fraternity, that kind of thing. The running track was closed in the 60s when the Elting Gym was opened. Ultimately, Old Main was, uh, was refurbished. The uh, left-hand side of the building became college offices. So I would make a bet that if one were to ask faculty members today, is there a track in, in Old Main? Nobody would know what existed. This is the building that alumni think of as the campus more than any other. There's no other structure that resonates with them, that has the same kind of emotional pull on their heart that people care about as much as Old Main. Beginning around 1937, as a child, we sang outside of Dr. Vandenberg's office. We sang some Christmas carols and the door opened and he came out and as I said he was the most distinguished looking man I ever saw. When we were rushing sororities we would go into the Dean of Students office and there we would be told whether or not we were accepted into the sorority of our choice. And then we were escorted out of the old main building doors and there would be a semicircle of all the various sororities waiting to greet you and accept you into the sorority. Extensive renovation to Old Main will begin in the summer of 2008. We will have to move out during the construction and expect to move back in sometime in the near future. The whole point of this renovation project is really to restore Old Main to its glory and then to update that glory into a 21st century mode. So part of what we intend to do is to take all the lovely, wonderful, defining architectural elements of the building, stained glass, moldings, stairways, and restore them to what they would have been like, but also to make sure that they're still functional in today's academic and educational environment. I think it's uh, going to be an exciting enterprise to see this uh, uh, very handsome old building get, get updated and um, more appropriate, made more appropriate for current technology and for our needs today, and yet retain uh, a lot of the old charm that it had and still has, because it sort of reflects our, our heritage of, of uh, college and education in New Paltz. It's sort of a, uh, an icon of, uh, of education here. And it's really important that this structure that was the center, that was the building that our alumni care the most about, where they took their classes, that emotionally resonates with them more than any other structure, this is a building that we have an obligation to take care of and to restore to its former glory. As we look forward to the future, we will always cherish the role of the old main building in the history of SUNY New Paltz. This building is meant to be, should be, and will be a showplace for New Paltz. It is a gem. Old Main is a very, very special building, and I hope it remains a special building for a long, long time. So we will leave this building 
for a little while, but we look forward to returning to the renovated Old Main building that will be our home. Keep on.